One of the best ways you can start winning arguments at work today is by truly understanding the other person that you are in the argument with and creating a steel man position for them. So you need to think contrary to what you want, think of what the other person wants, and puff it up as a positive. So you could want to not do some future event, maybe some conference. Let's say you don't want to do this conference, the other person does, and so you can say, hey, so these conferences are great, they help us connect with future customers and help us get the word out and market better. This is great. And now the other person feels like you understand their position. And then you can go into your side because you've puffed their side up and say, yeah, that's good, but we're going to reconsider because we're going to start marketing via our website and we can point people via ads at that place to our new website. This is just a relatively simple example, but trying to really understand the person that you are having your argument with and hopefully, if you've been paying attention to my emotional and social intelligence videos, you don't have a huge amount of arguments at work. But when you do have them, really understanding the person across the table from you, and I'm saying a figurative table, it doesn't have to be a literal table, come on. Understanding the other side, the other side of the argument here, and trying to create a steel man for it, so something that really puffs the side up. So if we steel man the other side, but you really feel your side is stronger and you have stronger arguments, when you steel man your side, you can show that you understand the other side very well and you still feel that this position is better and you can maybe even perhaps get the other person to logic themselves over to your side. If the other person willingly comes over to your side, that's much easier for your argument and it's something that shows a high level of social intelligence because you understand where they're coming from and if you can show them that your position is logically sound and logically better, then that's a very productive way to win an argument. Again, hopefully you don't have too many real arguments at work. And when you're in engineering, you need to be very careful because engineers really typically tie their opinions and their identities together. When you're bringing up someone's proposed idea or opinion, be very careful because they might take it as a personal attack, which is why this steel man argument is much more effective because you are puffing their argument up instead of saying that it's not very good. Because just saying, wow, that's a stupid argument, or that's so dumb, why did you bring that up? That's going to get that person very defensive. Even if they don't tie their opinion to their identity, that'd be like you saying they have an ugly baby. It's like, wow, your baby's ugly. Nobody's gonna enjoy that, nobody's gonna like that. It shows that you are not really paying attention, and it's a rather tone-deaf thing to say in general. So don't do that. It's pretty easy, so see the other person's position, steel man their position, steel man your own position, and if your thing is logically sound, and if you truly do have the better path in this argument, then hopefully the group comes to your consensus here and you can move forward from there. So there you go. Go win your next argument with a bit of social intelligence. And then you should keep going with social intelligence with my social intelligence playlist I've got prepared for you up here. Or if you're ready to get back to technical content, I've got an IQ playlist right down here. Or you can keep doing what you're doing and getting the same results you've been getting.